Uh, it's actually our third year in a row here. Uh, we love coming here. It's a really fantastic experience for us. Ah, oh, that's great. Um, so, this morning we got up, you posted a picture, and all of a sudden you seem to have a lot of thousands of hits. It's become quite controversial overnight. That's true. Last night, right before I went to bed, I put uh, one photo of this sculpture on this popular website called Reddit. Uh, I went to bed, and when I woke up in the morning, it was the top of the page and had uh, thousands and uh, thousands of views and hundreds and hundreds of comments about it from the Canadian Reddit community. This is a, a jumbo sized coffee cup from Canada's main coffee uh, restaurant called Tim Hortons. They're everywhere in Canada. Uh, this, it's a company that also markets its coffee using a lot of Canadian pride and nationalism, patriotism uh, uh, to uh, buy this. So the perception is if you're a, a good Canadian you'll drink Tim Hortons coffee every day. However, it is a large fast food uh, place. Until recently, it was uh, primarily owned by an American company. Um, and uh, it's coupled with this idea that the artist has uh, done a traditional Aboriginal beadwork style uh, to cover the cup. So it's a little bit of this high art versus disposable low art culture uh, clashing together. And I think for Canadians, it can be a, a very confusing symbol of our country. It's kind of disposable, disposable society wrapped in traditional culture. That's right. The, the work is really, it's, called, it's entitled 24 Ounces of Deception by a young artist from Guelph, Canada named uh, Gabriel Parniak. And uh, it's all about the lies of uh, this type of coffee, how it's marketed, about what culture is all about. It's, uh, it's about the deception, I, I think, of, uh, of how Canadians think about our national identity. Modern marketing. Absolutely, yes. So it's been fantastic because some people love this piece, some people hate it, uh, some people are very intrigued and want to know more. Um, I, I expect that, uh, that uh, perhaps today as Canada wakes up in an hour or two, uh, I think it's going to find uh, some mainstream attention uh, because it could, it's a real, uh, real hot, hot button topic, I think, in Canada. <laughs> Yeah, there were there were an awful lot of remarks there. I mean, it does seem some people seem to understand what it is. It's actually kind of low culture uh, being wrapped in this very traditional way, much like Andy Warhol made his soup cans, and uh, which was basically a comment on consumer culturism. That's exactly it. It's sort of an updated Canadian uh, version of that, and uh, I'm, I think it's fantastic. As you know, if art art doesn't necessarily have doesn't have to be adored by the audience it is to provoke and uh, elicit a, a reaction and it's certainly done this in just a few hours um, and so I think the, the piece is wildly successful uh, because of that. Well that's great and uh, well we're actually really glad that you managed to get a piece here they got so much attention from, from the fair. I, I didn't uh, completely expect it, um, but uh, I'm, I'm very excited to uh, when the artist uh, Gabriel wakes up to let him know now he's uh, internet famous in Canada. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Thank you, Bill.